Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting out on my porch this morning, having my coffee. It's chilly, but it is sunny, and I have a feeling today is going to be a beautiful day. I really want to put up more insulation, I want to cut some more wood, but I have to work on the chicken yards because, well, I have to do some moving around. There has already been some moving around this morning. My old neighbors, uh, Doug and Violet, came and picked up three roosters. They picked up Campy, they picked up Flame, and they picked up the other one that isn't Fabio. Fabio, I don't know, how do you say that? Um, but they picked him up and that is going to relieve a lot of stress off me. So now I just have Fabio, I'm going to call him Fabio. It's, it's Fabio, yeah, he's fabulous. So he's in there by himself. But um, later on tonight, I'm going to put uh, Rocky 2 and Waldo in there with him. Now, Rocky 2 is going to get his own flock. So. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that accomplished today because i got to get that coop finished. And there's a coop I need to get fixed up. I've got this tarp on it. I am going to secure it a little bit better. Um, I need to put some bedding in, but before I put the bedding in, I have to properly staple the um, tarp to the board. So that's step number one. Poor Fabio. He looks lonely. He's looking for his brothers. Don't worry, buddy. I'm going to get you a couple more roosters in here. I got it stapled down. It doesn't look great, but it's functional. This part was kind of hard to do, but I got that all stapled down, and it comes out over the, the plywood, so hopefully it'll protect it a little bit longer. I will have to replace this floor at some time, but for right now, it's all I got. I gotta get some bedding in there. Tartar Supply didn't have the white bags. I like the white bags. This is a lot finer, but that's all they had, and I need to get this done, so I went ahead and picked up a couple of these. There's about a bag and a half in there. I might put some more. I gotta put some in the nesting box. Yeah, still some big chunks left, but they can uh, scratch around in there. Oh, I wanted to show you. I made a, a nesting bar. Can you see that? Hold on a second. This might be hard to see, but I made a, a proper nesting bar for them um, with this piece of wood. I just cut out pegs on each side and stuck it through so that they would have something other than just a stick. So they've got this, and they've also got this nesting bar. They got that metal one, but they really don't like that metal one because it's slippery. So now I just need to get the... Oh, the nesting box. It's sitting out in the sun drying. I gotta get some food in here and then maybe start working on the yard. I think I'm gonna put this nesting box in here right outside so I can access it easily like this. And I am gonna put another nesting box in there. I'm not gonna have a whole lot of chickens in here, but um, I just wanna give them a choice, you know? <sighs> I gotta pound some posts and I'm really not looking forward to it, but I gotta get her done. Uh, this looks terrible, but I pieced together some pieces. Um, so I've got this part done. <laughs> um, that I need to do something with. I need to make a door out of it, but it's going to eventually be hooked over to here. Um, it'll be easier to take down and put back up. Now all I need to do is just cover the top of it. This over here. Hey, Papa. You came home. 
Um, it's just kind of connected there so the chickens can't get out. Oops, I think I'm panning too quickly. Um, so I need to cover this area over here, this over here, all of this area. What do you think, Romeo? It's not your coop. I need to cover this area back here just a little bit better. And then from the top to over here and all the way over there. I got materials to do it, but I'm tired, so um, I'm going to shut down this little project until tomorrow. Got me a little chicken in my arms. I don't know if you remember Mama, but she is the leg horn that I gave to Mr. Lucas. And unfortunately, Mr. Cockadoo, the big Rhode Island red rooster, chose her as his favorite hen. I'm not going to show you right now. Because it might alarm you a little bit, but the usual and customary damage has been done. So I've decided, we decided together, sorry, to uh, take her back, put her in her own coop, maybe with another hen or two. And uh, then I'm going to trade him one of my big black chickens. There she is, she's back in there. She's getting acclimated. Hopefully she'll find the food. I've got food and water over here. I'm going to put Patsy in here with her tonight. Sorry, it's focusing on the cage. I'm going to put Patsy in here with her tonight and maybe one other hen just so she can stay warm. I don't know, I may put, uh, I don't know. We'll just have to see. I just don't want her in here all by herself tonight. Whoops, <laughs> she went over there. That's okay, I just wanted to find the food. Oh, look at this one. He really knows the hens right there. First thing I'm gonna do is give her some of these grub terra grub worms. Uh, lots of protein, it'll help her grow her missing feathers back. Oh, she's checking out the nesting box already. I'm sure she feels safe in there. She hasn't started eating yet, but this has been a stressful day for her. So I'm just going to leave her be, and at roosting time, I'm going to bring the other chickens that are going to be in here with her. Look at who's there. I got Roxy in there with her. Roxy, none of the other chickens will let her roost with them, and they pick on her. She's checking her out. Yeah, so these two are going to be sisters. Hi, Roxy. I put some some yummies in there for you. Show the other chicken where they are. Show mama where they are. Thank goodness she's eating. That's a good baby. We're gonna get your feathers back. I was able to get Roxy in there with mama and uh, you know what? She is doing just fine. Mama not so much. Um, I've heard some squawking, and it's not because Roxy is attacking her. It's because Mama just wants to get out of that coop and go back home to Mr. Lucas. So, it's going to be stressful. I don't like to hear chickens in distress, but it's going to work. Um, so, tonight I've got to get Patsy into the coop with Roxy and Mama. And I've got to get the two roosters, Rocky and Waldo, <laughs> into the coop with Fabio. So that's what I get to do tonight. All right, here we go. Okay, first on the agenda is Waldo. Got him. Ain't gonna lie, it wasn't easy. Next is Patsy. Got her. Not too hard. Here you go, baby. <sighs> okay. So we got Mama roosting in the back. Roxy over there. This one just has to get used to it. Now all I gotta do is get this one. Rocky too. Got him. Not a problem. He's in. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think any of them like it, but... Hopefully, they will get used to it. Okay, I know you can't see me because it's dark, but everything has been done. 
the roosters are in their pen. The hens are in their new pen. I did a final head count to make sure that everybody was in their respective coops, and they are. Whew. So that's all I got for you guys tonight. See you in the next video. <laughs>